What is going on guys? DBG here and today we're going to be doing a gameplay with Paolo Banquero. Who is Paolo Banquero? He is the Pro Pass card. So what he call his price is $10. If you pay $10, you get this guy right here. Is there any other way of getting him? Unfortunately not. That is disappointing. But still, card I'm interested in. 94 three ball, 6 10, 97 driving dunk. Defensively looks fine. Like near like low 90s or high 80s in every stat. 95 speed at 6 10 with long wingspan. Angle player build. 92 lateral quickness as well. And 27 hops. When you look at his hops, he's got like limitless range, anchor, clamps, glove, rebound chaser. He's got whistle. He's also got right stick ripper, a movable enforcer, and bulldozer. Obviously, he doesn't have 94 feet. Doesn't have fast feet on Hall of Fame. Like, 94 feet is an important one. But at the same time, like, at small forward, you're grand. You're fine. They're on gold. You're fine. And for 10 quid, like, I don't know how I feel about the overall card, but, like, I don't know. Like, my opinion on the battle pass is always kind of like, oh, not the biggest fan of it, but I don't absolutely hate it. But still, when you're looking at Paolo Banquero, his dribble style is pretty good. Um, jumper, it actually doesn't feel that much quicker. I will say, it doesn't feel like a crazy amount quicker to what he previously had. Like, if you're asking me, would this is this release on very quick after using... Because I used Diamond Paolo Bancaro because he was free in the vaults. Or in the, um, the vaults, the door game for TTO. And I would say it's quite similar. So he's got the Jamal behind the back, though, which is nice. Into that fade. Okay. And that jump shot is very nice on the turn as well. So he's going to be able to create stuff off that Jamal behind the back. The only problem with the Jamal is that... Um, okay, he's got a nice moving... He's got a better moving behind the back than most people would have. He's going to be an elite dunker. And honestly, Paolo's going to give you everything from that small forward position. Because defensively, he maybe leaves a bit to be desired. But offensively, he's not going to create with the best of them. But he's going to be really good at almost everything. Which is... Which is definitely something that is important. Is it the be-all and end-all? Being good at everything? Not really, but like, it is something that you would rather have. You kind of need guys on your team to not have weaknesses nowadays. Like, gone, we're gone from the days of the specialists ruling my team. Like, specialists did rule my team for quite a while. So I'm going to play Paolo. Going to play Shea. I'm going to play the Dino fella. We pulled Dino. We literally, in our first game, we got Dino in the uh, out of the vault. On this account. So, again, my, my housemates are going to have a damn god squad by the end of this. But, yeah. Um, what do you guys think of today's content? Like, what cards are you gonna, guys going to go for? What cards are you not going to go for? For me, I definitely will, especially when I open sped squad. I'm going to be excited for getting Terry Dishinger. And I'm going to be excited for the level 40. Because it is going to take quite a while to get them. But Shea is that dude. Like, both versions of Shea are the same. I do not know what is happening right now. We just error coded. We just error coded again. So I'm going to take my L right there. I'm going to take my L. Assuming why I still have internet. Oh, we didn't even take our L. I'm still connected. I'm playing, if you guys don't know, I'm playing literally on hotspot. And because there's like no, not really any phone signal out here, I'm playing on hotspot. But my phone is connected to college public Wi-Fi and it's hotspotting my Xbox. Because I can't connect to the public Wi-Fi on my Xbox directly. So yeah, um, he's got a very weak team. Very, very weak team right here. Is he going to throw? Okay, he might be him. Like, that was a ridiculous shot there. Oh, Paolo, you're better than that. Who's on him? It's Weber, is it? I think Paolo's got a bit of a fade. Man, this why is this guy using Chet? He can actually hoop a little bit. And obviously Michael Cooper is pure lock.
on chat's waiting for him. Screw it, Dino. Like, I'm finding it so hard to see whether or not these are green releases, because it feels like the ball is just, like, f swerving in the air. Like, it could just be the angle I'm looking at my system at, but every shot I shoot, the ball feels like it's swerving. Okay, we're good. Like, I'm not really worried about his point guard. That should be your ball, Paolo. Um, just force him into something and into Jamal. Screw it. Shay in the corner. He's never going to miss. Oh, he nearly got it. That's a fluke stop there by Dino, but I'll take it. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. There we go. Good shot, Paolo. Again, Paolo does Paolo things. Like, he's not going to... He's not going to make a mistake ever. Like, that's just what I really like about Paolo. Is that even for the other Paolos, that he's just... Like, you use him as a... Just a cone. Like, someone to just to be there. And he can actually create a little bit. I have to shoot that. Like, if he's not going to guard me, I have to shoot that one. That's off, is it? Nah, I'm, I'm kind of switching off right now, which isn't great for me. Hit him off the pop. Should be wide open. I messed up that. Like, I got a load up on that, but I still thought I greened. Green. No, he hit a white. If you're out there missing shots with... Mistiming shots with Michael Cooper, you don't deserve to make it. All right, we're good. Do we have wide open, Dino? Pump fake, pump fake. Get it back to Dino. <laughs> Catch the ball, Paolo. But yeah, just this little bit of delay is making things really, really difficult. It is making things like... I'm completely outplaying him. But it's just hard to get anything off of Paolo. And also the fact that, like... Again, is thing what's his name is lockdown. And just like that we start the lag. Hey, we're good. Play the line. That's good defense there. I like Cooper is you just can't sh ever shake Michael Cooper, and that's the big problem with that card, is he's so difficult to shake. Good steal. Let's run. Should be green. Apparently, that's a contest. Like I'm overplaying all these. He can just do that. Oh, my God, Paolo. All right. I didn't realize you had that in you on the defensive end. That's definitely... I'd say it's definitely not green. Apparently, it was. I'll take it. I need to just focus a little bit because I'm not up enough to just start taking the piss. Maybe use him as the screener just to try to see if I can get him, Michael Cooper off him. Which worked. Nice mid-range shot there by Paolo. That's not a good shot. Good boy, Paolo. Please overplay me. Please overplay me. Tried to do the Jamal. It didn't work. Oh, we got him. From deep, Paolo Banquero. Oh, come on, Banquero. Let's just give up nothing, I guess. Give the corner three. Like I'm just... After that miss with Banquero, I'm just kind of... Rattled a little bit. Like, I thought I had him there on the... Jamal. Green. Good shot, Paolo. That fade's really nice. Whatever the fade is, it's very nice. Um. But steal. Read him like a book right there. You gonna unball that? No, I'm just gonna back him down then.
Okay, I'm gonna pass it to Shay if he leaves him open. Like, I will game him with Shay. Like, I'm just not gonna lose the game because I need a game with Paolo. But that's a good win. Paolo's really, really good. Like, if you want to pay the $10 for him, that's not a bad option, a bad thing.